Okay, this is the uh, walkthrough uh, for the AR of the Highgate Canvas experience. Uh, when the user start the app, they see this uh, graphic and the start button. When they click on it, uh, they can choose which character they want to be and what they want to do. Uh, if they choose Edward Lear, they would hide uh, the artist's belongings uh, somewhere. And if they choose to be Graveyard Keeper, they should find those objects that the other people uh, hide them. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, the Graveyard Keeper doesn't work well, but the Edward Lear works very well. Uh, so I choose that and uh, then they can see three portal and three artist name uh, and when they click on each of them uh, the application will guide them to uh, their grave and then they can choose uh, the objects. Now I want to choose the George Pinball. Uh, okay, this is when I click on it and uh, uh, unfortunately at the moment I'm not at the uh, Highgate Cemetery but I get uh, somewhere, uh, another uh, cemetery close to my house. Uh, this is the arrow that on the button that uh, help you and guide you to the gates, to the portals and uh, your distance. At the time it's 50 meter. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Uh, this is the first portal, the portal of uh, George Pinwell, and uh, you can see uh, we can see the room through the door gate. And if you enter, you can see his art style everywhere, and also some of uh, their belongings that you can take and put them out or hide them. Now I want to take this table, go back, and now I want to go to another artist portal. So I click back, and now I choose uh, Patrick. Now it says I need to go, yeah, this way. It's uh, 32 meter. Yeah. Uh, this is the room for Patrick and uh, his art style, the outlines, and you can choose the object you want. Uh, at the time, I want to take this for three and take that. Now I want to go back and to go to the last um, portal for the Lucian Freud. Uh, it says it's uh, yeah. They're going to right. Okay, this is the room for uh, Lucian Freud, and you can see his art style, and it looks like his own uh, room. Uh, for now, I want to take this easel. Uh, and then I want to go back. Uh, now I want to hide those objects. 
uh, by clicking on the uh, click here button. Uh, you can uh, you can see some buttons uh, that allows you to hide uh, the objects that you choose. For now, I want to stop from the easel. Uh, and I want to, oh, I think I might not be able to hide them here, but yeah, maybe, yeah, I placed that there. Uh, I can change the color and also the scale. And yeah, it's hidden now. Okay, I want to back stock and then uh, hide another object. I want to hide the pottery. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to hide it um, maybe here, yeah just next to that one yeah i place it and i want to change its color and then it is okay okay now i want to hide the last one the table uh, let me see where can I can hide it. Uh, yeah. I want to put it just here behind that tree. I placed it. I want to change its color and make it a bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now, uh, when you click on the last uh, button, you see there is a uh, message that say, uh, "Thank you for hiding those belongings." 